They'll play the All-Star Game a little over three weeks from now here in Los Angeles. And we are in L.A. on this night, specifically at Future of Flight. Jordan Brand, thanks for the hospitality. And uh, this is one of the rising stars games they've got going on right now, China against South Korea. Shaq's uh, son, Sharif, and Crossroads are going to be playing later. Oh, they are? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> you just thought he was coming yeah, to see you? Yeah, they're, they'll be playing here later. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it will be fun. Uh, American Express halftime report, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Hey, I wonder if it's disconcerting to play a game while we're being piped through the through the place. It's, well, you so if you're concentrating, you really people always ask me, you don't really hear the crowd when you actually when you're concentrating on a game. Let's see if he makes his free throw. Bet it. Okay. Well, no, he really will be He's attention gonna if you go. Down. Hey, nope. no problem. Nope. See, well, tell you, it's, it's screaming. Oh, it's our yeah, fault. See, hey, hey. Watch his three though. Kick no. it out for three. I mean, they playing better than the Wizards right now, so. <laughs> Watch your street. Oh, oh, oh shoot nice. The ball. No, you got to shoot. Get up. Get up. You okay, we're ripping it. away. Yes, you got to shoot that. Oh, nice pass. Left oh, hand. Oh, oh well, Shaq I mean, to the fool. Shaq to the fool. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, since we came on the air, we haven't seen a bucket. We've made a missed free throw and a couple of turnovers. That's so I guess we should just uh, go to American Express teammates and uh, <laughs> see what's going on in the first half in OKC. Good idea. Westbrook with 17. Adams with 11. Paul George with 10 in a 54 to 40 thunder lead after 24 minutes taking you through Stephen Adams what you've seen in the first 24. You know Chuck and I we both love this guy and believe it or not I feel that he's going to be the difference maker for them to get to the next level. I know they have three different superstars but in order for them to get to the next level he's going to have to play with, with, with the intensity that he always plays. You know, he's not going to demand the ball right here. He's just running the play. You roll, you get it to him, you roll hard. That's what you're supposed to do with your big man when they play hard. Right here, you know, verticality. And right here, you know, he could have said, you know, Westbrook is the fastest guy in the league. He'll make this, but he follows, he hustles, he gets the rebound. And again, he's going to be the difference maker for them to get to that next level. Uh -huh. Right here, you got to reward your big man right here. Throw it to him, makes a nice little move. He's not going to touch the ball a lot, but he plays with a lot of intensity. He plays hard, and if he plays well, they definitely can go pretty far. Oklahoma City is 27-20 and 20 now, uh, Chuck. They've won five in a row. Uh, is, are they showing you more now than they did when you had your reservations about them earlier this season? I still had a reservation. They're, at best, uh, the fourth best team, the fifth best team in the Western Conference. I have not seen they, – uh, they're not, they're not as good as, um, you said, Minnesota and uh, Houston and Golden State on a whole nother level. You said Minnesota's in that level? Uh, oh, Minnesota's uh, I, four right now. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah Minnesota's uh, five. Yeah, Minnesota's better than this team right here. And so is the Spurs if Kawhi, uh, Kawhi ever gets healthy. They're the fifth best team. Uh, that's, uh, first of all, let's, let's get to one thing straight. This is, <laughs> the uh, Golden State Warriors and the Rockets, they like on Jupiter. They're on a whole nother planet. Oh, you put the Rockets in there with them. Yes, the Rockets are really good. But then, like I say, Minnesota is better and the Spurs are better. Just because they beat, the, man, first of all, whew, this was a team, man. I need to, seriously, they stink. I, like, I love my boy Scott Brooks, but this team watching them play, they aren't a good at why, all. Why are they underachieving? Shooting. Shooting is not at a premium. And, and it was funny because, you know, obviously John Wall is a driver slasher. Uh, Bill is a guy who can knock shots down. And then the third guy is supposed to be Otto Porter. Well, he's and been off the last 11 games. They said, yeah, he's at the beginning. He said, We've been <laughs> off the last 11. I'm like, well, well, if you're off the last 11, that's really who you are. You're not, you, you don't go 11, 15, 16 games and, and, and start shooting, uh, so, he, shooting differently. So you know, he has to learn to put the basketball on the floor to get those opportunities from three that he had last year. When he, putting it on the floor will loosen that up. So you look at Washington, Milwaukee, and the 76ers, they've probably been the three teams that are underachieved the most in the Eastern Conference. And this Washington team should be better. Uh, they have court offense is awful. So they, better than, we, right now they're what, in the, in the, in the uh, fifth spot, the one fifth game spot. out of Both four. Both of these teams are in the fifth spot. Right, so yeah, so you, you one think game out of four. I, see, I don't think they're better than Indiana or Miami, though. That's what I said. No, I don't think even That's when, what I'm saying. when they're playing at their best. I'm no, they sure should be better. better. First of all, they got two all-stars. 
First of all, Eric Spolster is probably doing the best job coaching him and White Brad Stevens. White Sox should have been All-Star. Uh, 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 or Drogic, one of the two. Yeah. But when you look at these standings, I mean, for the talent they have, Morris, Porter, oh, I'm, Uber, Uber has played great all year. This team should not be behind Miami. Uh, but they should be. They're one game behind Miami. No, Chuck. but the, Miami doesn't have the type of talent that the Wizards have. They should they be better. They're all about talent, Chuck. They got to go but, out and but, but you know, put it to use. Well, that maybe we overrating their talent. There, there you go. Thank you. That's what I think. It is a 54 to 40 halftime score. Uh, the Wizards have never won a game in Oklahoma City. Never. They are 0 and 8. The last, never. Last, last time they won on the road against this, they were still in Seattle. They are down by 14. They're at halftime. We'll be back to the future of flight. Maybe